Edenville just got some new artwork to add a little more beauty to the city as part of the Rise Mural Project. A collaboration by several local artists that came together for their love of art and community spirit. And New 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona talked to organizers and artists of the mural project and shows us how they found inspiration for their creations. This piece is called Roots of Eatonville. He started off his piece with the founders of Eatonville. It's the story of Eatonville told through art. The figures here, they're lifting up the history of Eatonville, but they're also looking into the future. That's kind of like what the I stands for. A future of love, Mariah Roman says. She's one of the curators of the Rise Mural Project, a project she hopes will serve to inspire Eatonville's younger generation to aim high. To dream, to dream higher. Rise kind of came up out of just like wanting to uplift people and wanting to like you know, help people or just, you know, give that idea of like you can aspire and you can, you know, come up out of anything and be stronger and better. Among the artists selected was Sarah Berlin. Her mural represents birth. She collaborated with a local poet, Joaquin Ishii. Um, and if you read it closely, it says, I hope that when you look up, you see yourself because you sparkle as bright as the sun. Located in Elizabeth Park, right next to the basketball court, each mural features words from a local poet. We wanted it to be a project where when you looked at it, you, you felt inspired by every word. The murals include iconic names and portraits of historical people. Let these kids know, continue to live your dreams through art, poetry, whatever you love to do, just go ham, live your life and live your best life. Artist Jason Ty Davis created a polygon-shaped map of the United States. It'll include interactive options for kids. I'm gonna add some old school games like four squares, hopscotch, boomerang, stuff like that. You know, some games that we all remember as kids that were very simplified games, but they brought unity and brought, you know, good fun. Muralist Herman Limas wanted to honor one of the Harlem Renaissance leaders, Zora Neale Hurston, an author, activist, and anthropologist who grew up in Eatonville. She had that, you know, I'm gonna do it on my, on my own terms sort of attitude and she wasn't gonna have it any other way. So she was a big influence. The words don't describe it, it's like beautiful. It like, and the artist, whoever the artist is, awesome. The picture does her justice because she was such a powerful woman who didn't get her dues. A total of seven muralists, six poets, and two calligraphy artists were part of this RISE project. And on Sunday, a grand reveal will take place from 2 to 5 for the entire community to enjoy. There will be food, music, and giveaways. In Eatonville, I'm Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. I love that. Those are so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to have the community and local artists mm -hmm. being able to participate, that is, is just so neat. And Eatonville is such like a little gem, you mm. know, in, in Central Florida where it's, you know, it's really held on to its, you know, its mm -hmm. history and, and having people kind of come back and kind of, you know, rejuvenate that is great.